Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the Quantity Survey course. In our today lecture, we have the topic bar bending schedule of circular slab. It's very important topic. So, let's we start our today topic. Here you will see this is a circular slab. Here, this is at the end in the brown color you will see this is the concrete cover i just made it to show you guys this is the inside dia of the slab and this is at the end is the concrete cover now i will show you inside bar bendings of is the inside of the slab This is the circular slab and the concrete cover provided one inch at the end. So these are the main bars I showed you in this circular slab. But we also provide the distribution bars in this circular slab in the 90 longitudinal bars distribution bar in this direction of in the 90 direction of this these main bars so here i did not show you because you do not get confused and also i want also here is the concept that the cutting length of main bar and the distribution bar will be the same in the circular slab here straight bars main bars and the distribution bars are also the straight bars they are not bent up bar these are straight bar so in here the cutting length for main bar and distribution bars is same so that's why i am just here trying to give you concept uh, to how to calculate the cutting length in the circular slab so try to catch the concept so this is circular slab this is the mid of the circular slab here and here you will see this is the mid uh, and the mid bar is showing in red color so it means this dia of the length of the this bar will be the same of the dia of the circular slab our dia is 16 feet 2 inch total dia but one inch is cut from this side one inch cut from this side so our inside dia is 16 feet so our this red bar which is this red main bar which is at the center of the circle will be the same of dia having 16 feet so next and the center to the center spacing between these bars is 6 inch means 0 0.5 feet 6 inch means 0 0.5 feet the center to center spacing between all the main bars is 6, feet, uh, 6 inch and 0 0.5 feet so here now we will move to the given data Calculate the main steel bar cutting length. So here we will just calculate the main bar cutting length. And you know in circular slab you will have same cutting length for main and the distribution bar. If they are both straight or both bent up. If they are both straight bars main bars and distribution bars their cutting length will also be the same our dia of the slab is 16 feet 2 inch so dia without concrete cover from both side is 16 minus 2 inch 1 inch is concrete cover from two side it will be 2 inch so our inside dia at the center is 16 feet here you can so our main bar which is at the center of this slab is length is 16 feet now we will calculate the cutting length of other bars which are not at the center so at the center bar length 
will be the same as of the dia 16 feet main bar we are using number 4 mean 12 millimeter and center center spacing is 6 inch mean 0 0.5 feet 6 inch divided by 12 is converted into feet is 0 0.5 feet concrete cover is 1 inch let's we start number of bar formula calculation in circular slab here some difference in this formula than rectangular or square slab here you will see dia minus concrete cover dia here you can see dia will be the same from this side and here please make it clear for you guys dia is same here and here at the center so both number of main board and number of distribution board will be the same here i will to calculate the number of main bar i will take this dia so you can take any dia of the dia of at the center here of the circle is 16 feet we will take in here dia without the concrete cover without the concrete cover dia is 16 feet and the center to center spacing is 6 inch mean 0 0.5 feet plus 1 so this will give us the number of bar calculation so here we will calculate now it on the calculator 16 feet divide by 0 0.5 feet 32 plus 133 so in our circular slab having 16 feet dia inside without concrete cover we need 33 number of main bar and distribution bar will be the same so our we required 33 number of main bar and 33 number of distribution bar total we require 66 number of main bar and distribution bars so how this is we calculate the number of bars mean bar and distribution bar in circular slab that's very easy next now we will first l1 l1 is the length of the mean bar which is at the mid of the circle mid of the circle the the bar length will be the same as of the dia inside which is 16 feet this is hard and fast rule you can see in the pick also here this the this is will be called as a l1 which is at the center its length will be the same as of the dia of the this cir uh, circular slab and the other bar will gradually their length will be gradually decreases so now we will have the formula to calculate the others number of main bars length calculation formula here i will show you now l1 we have the formula to calculate the length of the other bars other than this mid length of main bar we have formula 2 into under root of whole this equation r square r mean radius minus h1 square h1 is here center to center distance from the mid mid length of mid or main bar to the other which we are calculating and the l3 will be the formula r square minus h2 and this is how we design the formula i will show you in the drawing also we here just multiplied with the 2 because here we take the r so we by this formula which is highlighted we just calculate the half length of the main bars or distribution bars 
because the formula is same for the main bar and distribution bar and length will also be same if we calculate the main bar then distribution bar will be also be the same as of the main bar so it is very easy to calculate the bar bending schedule of circular slab here the highlighted part will give us the half length up to the radius of the up to radius of the circle will give half length of the our main bar when we multiply it with the two it will give us the full cutting length of the main bar here i am just calculating the five main bar length cutting length other you will calculate by yourself purpose was just to give you the concept here i will show you in the drawing our no l2 will be we will move upward from here from the center to the upward you will see this is the h1 between this red mean bar which is at center to this this center center distance will be h1 but the, from this center main length which is in red color from here to here it will be h2 then h here to third bar center to center distance will be h3 from here to this will be h4 so this is how we calculate the h which we put in the formula when we will calculate these cutting length of these bars upper bar from this mean bar length at the center then low you can see these lower bar length will be calculated automatically how you because this length of this bar will be the same of this bar length of this second bar will be same as of this second bar length of this third bar will be same as of the this third bar length of fourth bar will be same as of as here in fourth bar so this is how you can calculate easily the cutting length of main bar or distribution bar in circular slab and if you go here and the distribution bar so distribution bar center length cutting length will be will be the same as of the dia 16 feet as of here in the main bar so distribution bar at the center will be same of the main bar at the center so this is how you can easily calculate here now i will show you i will calculate this on the calculator to sorry here 8 square minus 0 0.5 square divided by I take under root of this whole equation 63.5 then multiply it with that 2 Oh, sorry here we did the mistake in calculation let's we calculate l2 length 8 square minus 0 0.5 square then take under root of it here then multiply it with the 2 so 15.5 Four six, you can see fifteen point four six. Fifteen point four six feet is the cutting length of second bar above the center of the circle. At the center, we have L one main bar, main bar L one, and main bar L two length is fifteen point six forty six feet. No, you can calculate other length also by this formula. Here, next h h two will be one feet. You can see because h one was zero point five feet. We are calculating the 
h value from here you will see from here at the center to the mid of the bar if we will calculate it from this center for this is the l2 bar to the l2 bar from the mid main bar will be 0 0.5 feet 6 inch mean 0 0.5 feet center to center distance so here from this bar which is l3 bar to the main bar center bar will the it will be 1 feet 0 0.5 feet plus 0 0.5 feet it will be 1 feet so this height will be gradually the increases and the length of the main bars which are above to the center will gradually decrease by using this formula to you can calculate so other calculation you will do it by yourself thanks for watching this lecture please stay tuned for next